Hello and welcome back everyone. I am Manic Mink. This is Europa Universalis 4. When we last left off, uh, we were just about to choose a new idea group. Um, since we went with a military idea, I think I'm going to go exploration. Probably for the next set of ideas. This will give us colonists, give us the ability to explore, colonize down into Africa, uh, and also to help sort of meet Castile. Um, other ideas I'm going for, definitely offensive and defensive. Um, probably economic or innovative. Uh, possibly humanist? I don't know. But definitely exploration, I think, will be our next. Doo -doo -doo. Um, let's see, how far are we from tech? You know what, no, I'll save for the tech. Uh, and military force limits. We are making military units, we are not. Okay. Uh, so, Savoy, our ally here, is at war with Milan. Portugal, Naples, and Urbino. Okay. Um, Aragon broke the military alliance with Naples. Okay. So you're actually only allied with Portugal and Urbino. Portugal allied with England, Aragon, and Castile. Um, let's group all of you up. I don't actually know what you units are, to be honest. You are allied with Hungary and Savoy. Um, okay, 10-4, Uh, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll move you there. Okay. So yeah, we are quite low on manpower, so honestly there's not going to be much, uh, as much as I would love to go to war, and believe me I would, because I am a terrible, terrible warmonger. Uh, there's not really much, uh, not necessarily much call for it, but there's not necessarily much, um, so you here, you here. There's not necessarily going to be much, uh, opportunity to, if only just because we don't have really a lot of troops right now. Okay, there we go. Now, next time we will take uh, our expansion idea here. 4.93 in Genoa. 5.77. Awesome. Go. Go, patrol. Make money for me. go. This will have built up our second. Uh, who are you? Who are you and what are you doing? Um, you are all mercenaries? Okay, so this has built up our second army, the one that we lost originally. Uh, and now we have four more troops that we can build. Well, let's go... Um, no, I actually don't want to. I want to hold off on that. I'm going to be forced to give Savoy, blah, blah, blah. That's good. Portugal and Urbino. Portugal. So if we declared war here... Pause, please. Thank you. Savoy would come in. Portugal and Urbino would come in. Uh, let's send you guys down here. You... Swap out for this one. And then you can take uh, Louis de Valois. You go here. And, or I could fight Provence. Provence is Hungary and Savoy. I don't want to do that. Because I quite, I quite like having Savoy as an ally. Honestly, I'd like to vassalize them and turn them into a march. If it were up to me. But, uh... Unfortunately, it's not at the moment. Okay, um, actually, you go here and you go here. 
There we go. Now we should be able to siege through this pretty quickly here. Thankfully, Savoy is coming in to help. You are still that 2-4, huh? God damn. Well, wherever he is, uh, you know, anyone who runs into us is going to end up having to fight. Quite, uh, quite a fight, I suppose. You're going to go there. That's fine. I don't really care about you, honestly. Where are you going, dude? You're going to siege through Genoa? Or Girona? Okay. I mean, that's fine. You can if you really want to, but... Can't help but think you'd be better served going somewhere else. That is... eight heavy ships. So I know how I said that there wasn't really going to be much fighting, but, uh, turns out I lied. Come on, Savoy. Oh, Savo Savoy's going back to fight Urbino. Okay. Don't lose. Yay, we won. Awesome. Phew. That was not pleasant. You are running back now. That's good. Um, you guys should be able to reinforce here. Now, what do I want off of you? I'd like to... I don't know, I suppose take a little bit of land somewhere. That's all of your troops, all of your boats. Uh, brought your troops over there. Still, though, taking the capital should really help out with this, uh... War score, I would hope. I mean, if not, I have to go all the way over to Portugal and start sieging them, which, I mean, I can do. It's not the end of the world, but... Use some admin power instead. The only thing is, is I don't actually have military access through Spain here. Uh, can I get access? No, you won't. Of course you won't give me access through Spain. Why would I expect that you would? That would be silly. Um, let's go there, there, and there. And who else might war with? Urbino is down there. Okay. Well, we can just sit here. I mean, it's totally fine. I don't mind. 24% war score. So let's see. What can I get you to give me? Um, like... I wouldn't mind forcing you to do that. Um, alternatively, I can force you to release Sicily. Um... force you to release Sicily, and then give that to Naples. Urbino, um, make Urbino a French vassal. Can I get access through Venice? Yes. And Ferrara, yes. Okay, good. Um, so, you will go no leader, go to Urbino, you will go you and go to here. Just want to keep an eye on that Portuguese army there. So once again, I don't have access through Portugal, so... Or through uh, Castile, so I can't actually do anything to fight them. Um, what I can do, though... And I should be doing this, I suppose. Avignon. Pop open all 
of these things. You, your relationship can be improved, which I would like. And you should be able to take uh, Urbino's army. Or, yeah, you should be able to take Urbino's army. I doubt, even, I doubt they even have any, to be honest with you. Oh, they roll low. They lose. Okay. Let's have all of our troops go here, and then everybody march up here, and hopefully 40,000 can kill this guy. Except for that minus two, this is probably not the fight I should have been in. As long as I win, though. Okay. Uh... No, we'll see in Valencia to France. I'd like to really force you to get rid of a lot more, honestly. You go here. Okay, so you'll siege through that. I will force Rubino to become my vassal. Separate piece them, easily enough. Um, I wish I could come over here and help Sardinia, but... That's just not a possibility, because I don't have the troops for it. And well, I, I have the troops for it, I just don't have the boats for it, to be honest with you, is the problem. You already have cannons, do you? Fuck, Portugal, I hate you. I hate you so much. What was your first idea? Exploration. Yeah, of course it was, okay. <sighs> Fucking Portugal. Yeah, I know, you want to offer me peace. I don't actually really want to give you peace. Because um, I would like to... I do think I will try to uh, at least make somebody into something over in, in uh, Italy. So if I can get Urbino, maybe I can just feed them something else. Uh, I mean, I could... Sardinia has claims on a lot of stuff. Because uh, I would love to force Aragon to release um, some of these as well. Let's grab them. Colonist, awesome. Oh, come on, siege through this. Yeah, that's a lot of troops that I lose doing that stuff. Come on. 21%. Do it before, uh, frickin' Spain gets back. Or Portugal gets back. 21%. Do just come on. I hate you. Um, I don't care about the prestige at the moment. That's fine. What's my mission? Do I even have a mission? Create a proper fleet. Okay. So that's what I was doing before I got a little bit distracted. Oops. Um, that's a boy. Yeah, I'd love to force Savoy to become a vassal, but they're not going to accept it. They have more than 40 total base tax, so... Unless they get cut down to size. Because I would like to have, like, a march here and a march here, just to have, like, you know, a military buffer for... Super peace, you... You would not accept being a vassal. Yeah? I can't... Seriously? Well, that's stupid. Peace offer... Would result in Urbino's annexation or vassalization. Okay, let's do this then. Go and crush your army, I guess. Shit, you guys go there, support him. Okay, you go there, wipe out that stack. 
There we go. Now, Urbino, will you be my bitch? Urbino, please, I said. Thank you. French Vassal, yes. Okay, so they have separate pieced out. I can send my troops over here now. That's good. Uh, lose 13,000 manpower. No thanks. I don't even have that much. I can't, so I, I can't lose that. Aragon, uh, let's... Oh, actually, hold on. Let me try and get Portugal out of this. Portugal! No? Okay, you yeah, Fine. <laughs> Okay, so release Sicily and No, I can't take anything if I force them to release Sicily. Um Yeah, we'll just do Don't have enough diplomatic power, I need fifty. Yeah, so we'll just do this. I'm just gonna force them to release Sicily. I'm gonna try to actually ally Sicily then. Uh get them on my side. Um, again, another another vassal, just because I really like vassals. Because they do so much work for me. Sicily, hey! Offer an alliance. Vassalization... <laughs> This is between the borders, so let's improve relations some more. I do want to cancel military access through everybody that I have military access through. Royal marriage, sure. You cancel military access. And then you as well cancel military access. Okay, awesome. Where's my army? Oh, you go there. Stop killing my troops. Okay, awesome. So we did good. Uh, we did take you, which I suppose helps, right? I mean, every little bit. Now, though, we need to build a fleet. Two, three, four, five. So 15 ships there. And then... Let me get the next little ship. Nine? Okay, so that's a while away. Let's go, um, one, two, three, four, five, we'll say, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Producing just a buttload of ships here, and hopefully that should... I want to get rid of Provence as well. Hungry Bavaria. Is there Hungry Savoy is the problem, really. So he likes me a lot, though, so that's good. Avignon, um, actually, I should stop. Got this, thank you. Met over. Vassal, Alliance, Vassal, Alliance with Savoy, Alliance with Sicily, Alliance with Bohemia, and Vassal with Avignon. Okay. This I'm gonna wait. I'm actually quite, quite far behind on tech here. 50 out of 64 reasons. Distance between borders is the biggest um, fallback there, drawback there. Why do you not like me so much? Right, annex to vassal. Um, so let's go send gift. Sure. And then in August we will start to integrate Avignon. Go. Perfect. Hmm. 
Now, what would I like to do next? Um, hmm. Well, I guess next we end, we end the episode. Um, three. Yeah, sure. Four, five. There we go. Actually, all of you just go up to here. There we go. 15 ships, so we should be able to protect trade, gain a lot more money. 542 in Genoa. 47. 492. Okay, so 542. So we're going to go down to Genoa and protect trade there. Um, so yeah, things I'd like next, I would like to get the next level of military tech, just because I'd like to sort of equip some of these guys with cannons, um, because that's going to really help out a lot. Um, I would like to get Quest for the New World to get some explorers um, so that I can actually start to colonize. You know, I mean, I can't see down here, so I can't really start to colonize, you know. Uh, these boats will all build, and we will just protect, protect trade somewhere else. Uh, Austria is the Emperor again. Go figure. Who would have thought? General is dead. Um, I think I'm okay for now. I'm not going to hire a new general quite yet. So yeah, so that's our next uh, sort of set of goals. And uh, hopefully... What do we want to gain? Stability? No. Prestige? Gold? Um, manpower I can gain if I'm at war. I'm going to gain mercantilism. So that will help with trade. Bonus plus 11%, so that's 20% trade and power uh, in provinces. Okay, so yeah, we will uh, we will pick this up next time. Uh, in the meantime, though, I am Manic Mink. This is European Universalis 4, and we'll see you next time. Take care.